Hey folks, Kayak DIY here, and you're looking at one of the trailers that I built here. Thought I'd share it with you. I'm also going to share with you some other tips on other types of trailer designs and budget ideas. Um, so basically ways to really make the best possible kayak trailer on a lower budget. Okay, so this here is the trailer. And basically what you're looking at is a customized Harbor Freight folding trailer. Here is a look at the folding trailer before any modifications. I found mine used. You can also find it at the links in the video description. So this trailer was designed to be able to fold. Um, I'm never going to fold it. So I actually ended up uh, bolting on these PVC rails. Uh, and so that kind of prevents it from folding but basically it would normally fold in this position right here and it would just fold on top of itself um, some of the customizations so obviously the paint job i ended up getting some spray paint so that i could match it to my hobie tandem island so if you can see the sail there it's kind of a green and blue this is a green and blue so i wanted it to match this trailer was used when i got it it was in a little bit of rough shape, but I got it really cheap. Um, even when you buy it from the store, it's cheap. So um, these here are four inch PVC. You don't have to go with that big of PVC, but I got these for free. My neighbor who lives next door here, he actually had these in his water next to his dock. Um, they had some barnacles that grew on them. I had to scrape them down and uh, kind of restore them a little bit but I got free bunks basically. So what I do is I drill a big hole in the top and that gives me access to the inside. And all I do is I have some U-bolts in there that wrap around the frame. So that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, I have access there and I have access here. So it's only four U-bolts holding these two on and I've never had it move I've never had any issues it works out really well on the front here uh, what we have going on is normally on the front here there would have been a coupler but in, I ended up uh, taking this and I had some uh, channel welded on so that that way I could make a tongue extension so I have a six foot tongue that can telescope in and out based on what I need. So, yeah. Um, oh, these are really handy. These are from Harbor Freight as well. Um, or you can get them on uh, Amazon pretty affordably as well. Um, so, these are nice if you have to move your trailer around a lot, like around your garage maybe, or around your yard, which is what I do, because I have to run this thing into the backyard and occasionally pick up that and put it on so sometimes I launch the Hobie tandem island from the backyard sometimes I launch it using the trailer and I go to certain destinations um, I did rewire the the entire uh, trailer I didn't like the original trailer lights just a matter of preference so I ended up wiring LED lights um, this is just a protective cable wrap um, I'll have links to all this stuff in the video description below. So I'll have links to the trailer used, all that stuff. Um, but yeah, basically uh, I end up putting this cable wrap on there to protect the cable. Um, and then you just got a standard trailer plug. Looking in the back here, I'll show you kind of the lights. So these are submersible. I've never had any issues. Um, I try not to submerse the trailer too much though, just because it's not really good in salt water to submerse hardly any trailer. <laughs> I mean, salt water is just hard on everything. So um, one of the ideas that I did have too is if you went with like four inch PVC, you could possibly um, use the PVC tubes as storage. Um, so you could have your kayak on top and still possibly use this as storage. Um, if you did that though, you probably would want to find a way to maybe plug this so that water doesn't get in or I, I don't know. Um, haven't quite 
nailed down how I would go about doing it yet, but um, I did think about that. I also thought about for like the large tandem island and some of them to make a cart that slides into here and locks into place and that way it's all ready to go so I simply slide the the tandem island off the back a little bit and then I keep the cart in these like I would have posts holding the cart in this position and then I would just simply run straps over and then release it from here and push the tandem island off the back so yeah um, that's one of the ideas I had is basically a cart that plugs into these two holes here and gets locked in place somehow so that with traveling it's pretty much ready to go it's being held underneath the kayak and then all I have to do is run straps around and connect to the cart and basically push the kayak off of the back and I could wheel it like down a beach or something. Um, yeah, just one of the ideas. Um, here is the closer look at the Hobie Tandem Island. So I put these davits in in the backyard. Um, I got them for free. I just had to repower them and put new winches on them. So I ended up putting the Fulton K2550 uh, brake winches on. It's important that you get a brake winch because that way when you let go of the handle it doesn't spin around and, and whack you. Um, and what I'm doing right now is I'm basically just using the davits. I have them clipped to the handles and I'm letting it just keep the kayak away from the seawall. I wouldn't lift from the handles. I think that would be a very, very bad idea. Um, you would probably, if you ended up lifting from the handles too much or if you tried to just keep it lifted up from the handles, you'd probably end up um, damaging the kayak. So this is basically just the setup I have for um, when I'm gonna have like three days off to, to do some kayaking, I'll just let it sit here and float and I, I'll go out on it each day and then on the last day I'll end up taking it out of the water. So to take it out of the water using the davits, I, uh, I end up just slipping a harness on each front and back. Um, sometimes I'll, I will disassemble it a little bit or I'll fold the outriggers in. Um, but I, I actually have a harness um, that I made out of hammock straps because um, they have a good pound rating. And so they just wrap around here and wrap around the front and I'm able to, to lift it up using the davits. I, I even lifted it up with uh, one davit and it worked out pretty well. Um, you can actually see some fish here in the water possibly. We got some uh, sheep's head. I even saw some snook hanging out in the backyard here. They were kind of sitting in the shade uh, underneath the kayak. So I'm getting pretty excited. The fish are... Uh, definitely starting to come out more and more I'm seeing a lot more of them so okay so it is a wrap uh, that's pretty much the video on the trailer um, two things that I would do to maybe improve the trailer uh, number one I would consider possibly painting it using rubberized undercoating made by Bondo um, that is a coating that I've used for other projects and I think it might offer added protection for the saltwater environment. Um, so that's something I'm looking at doing. Um, number two, uh, I'm looking at basically doing something along the lines of what you see here. So this photo here was taken, um, I don't know, I, I found it online. There's been several people that have done similar types of trailer builds. And uh, I, I came across this one and I was like, hey, that, that's pretty cool. That's, that's kind of a smart idea. Uh, can't take credit for it, but um, I think that might be the route that I would go for some of my uh, trailers. Um, just to be able to have that added storage. Um, it's cheap and affordable. They're like less than a hundred bucks to buy those racks. Um, I'll have a link in the video description below for some of the racks that I found um, that that look like they'd work really well. Same same style. Um, but uh, yeah, that's that's something I'm considering doing. Um, number three, uh, folks have asked me. They said, "Hey, 
um, you know, what, what channels on YouTube do you watch, you know? And I didn't have to think about it very hard. Um, probably the number one channel that I watch is 30 Miles Out, Ty and Teresa, the kayak fishing team. Um, they're based out of Florida now. Um, they were in Texas and uh, been following their videos for a very long time, even before I think I started this YouTube channel. Um, so yeah, that's who I would recommend um, taking a look at also. I mean, if you like these videos, you'll likely like what they're doing too. Even as I talk right now, uh, making this little video clip to splice in, I had three notifications on this phone because um, I am filming from my iPhone 7 Plus here. Um, I had three notifications from 30 Miles Out on Instagram because we were discussing some uh, tackle rigs. Um, so, yeah, uh, obviously, I, <laughs> those are the folks that I watch. Um, yeah, so I'll have a link in the video description for them as well. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, subscribe, and share. It helps myself and folks like 30 Miles Out. It helps us be able to have a little bit more push and pull with getting sponsorships that we want. Um, we're not going to take sponsorships from companies that you know we don't believe in, that you know whose product we don't think um, is up to what type of standard that we think our viewers want. Um, we're not going to sell out or anything, um, but you know, YouTube um, having a channel, you guys are demanding you know that we create content for you, um, but at times that can come at a pretty large expense out of our pockets. So when we can take on sponsorships for products that we're using every day, that helps really um, lighten uh, the load on, on our, our wallets. So um, yeah, please like, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed this video or if you like any of the content that we're providing. And if you guys have suggestions for things, comment below this video, let us know, um, let, you know, let 30 miles out know they listen to their subscribers too. Um, you know, we as YouTubers are working for the viewers. Um, so, um, videos that you can expect here in the near future from me, um, I'm working with an idea for a anti theft device for kayaks. Um, I'm working on a shallow water anchor system again. Um, just, a, a step up from what I did before. Um, yeah, playing around with a lot of different things. So that's kind of what you can expect from me. I'm also working on doing a camera review um, with a few action cameras. Um, so yeah, ran into a hiccup though. I, I think I maybe had a bad micro SD card. Um, so that's why I wasn't able to upload the video on the action camera reviews. Um, as of recently, but that was what I was planning on doing tonight But instead I decided to do this trailer video to kind of give you an update on that um, So oh and even as we stand right here you guys might say hey, you know You DIY kayaks do you DIY anything else? Well, I made this pallet wall with my wife um, That's that's something that we made and uh, We'll quick run over here That is actually a stone crab trap that we turned into an end table. And this here is a pallet crate coffee table that we made. Oh, and I walked past this. So this here is a pulley light fixture that we made. It has Edison bulbs in it. So we like to build other things as well. Um, this house is kind of a work in progress. We just kind of keep putting a little bit of time and sweat equity into it. Um, and we're having fun doing it. So thank you for watching and uh, take care.